Welcome to the Hillbilly Hoarder. Today we'll be looking at a 1959 Chevrolet Corvette project car. What a mess. Well, believe it or not, there is a car in here. Let me see if I can move some of this stuff. I drove this car in here several years ago. I had in, uh, intentions on uh, restoring it, but just never had the time for it. There's something everybody needs is a, a stroller for tripping. Golf bags. Well, let me get up over here, see if I can show you this car. What's in there pretty tight. It's hurt. It's a good day. Get too old for this. I believe uh, somebody replaced the chrome on the car through the years. The chrome was pretty decent. And uh, before I put it away, I, I sprayed oil on the chrome. It's a non-original engine car, four-speed. Somebody's put the the right aluminum air cleaner on it. It's got Corvette valve covers. Somebody's put the breather on the valve covers. It has a factory aluminum intake which I'm surprised about there but uh, the intake's not for this year it's for a later year got the the shroud uh, the correct radiator somebody's replaced the generator with an alternator I believe in uh, 59 I believe they made just a little over 9,000 of these this year kind of low production it took a uh, a while for the Corvettes to catch on. Let me see if I can... Looks like the last time it was on the road was in 73. Let me see if I can get through here. I'll try to show you through the interior on it. It has uh, sun visors. Believe it or not, sun visors were an option in these early Corvettes. Kind of crazy. Still has a Wonder Bar radio, which is a plus. A four-speed car, which is a plus. Somebody's re, uh, replaced a factory shifter with a Hearst shifter. As far as I could tell, the car was silver with red interior when it was new. There shows some of the silver paint would have been behind the door panel. A little bit of red showing through the black up here on the on the gauge cluster housing. Still has the original tack. Somebody's put a, an aftermarket tack up on a dash, which is kind of common. This car does have a, a pretty rare option. It's got a factory power top, I'll show you. Let's see if we can get through here. Kind of tight. Here's a neat little item. It's a a uh, little Honda Trail 70. They're kind of sought after. I have several of these around. Some 50s. Uh, some Rupp mini bikes. Probably 25 or 30 of these mini bikes laying around in, in different bays. There's a old set of 61, 62 seats. They're in pretty rough condition. I have a, a couple 62 Corvette uh, project cars that I'll show you in a later video. 
Uh, they're pretty rare cars. They're both factory fuel cars. Uh, one's a factory fuel big brake car, which is rare. Let's see if I show you this. Some of this power top stuff. It's pretty neat. I, I don't believe anybody's ever messed with any of this power top stuff. Kind of neat. There's some of the silver paint behind that. It'll make a pretty nice car, I believe. Just uh, has driver quality paint on it. Some, somewhere along the line, somebody painted it brown. There's a 67 Corvette uh, rally wheel. I have a, a pretty neat 67 Corvette. That's a X435 car. Has a, a 350 in it now. It's a, an, an X435 with some pretty rare options. I'll show you in a later video. Get back through here I can't even get around to the other side of the car too tight there's part of a another Honda mini bike this was a, a 90 cc mini bike I believe it was an ST90 what they call these Well, thank you for watching the Hillbilly Hoarder. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again, and I hope you have a nice day.